Ah, yes. Um, Savita? Yes, sir. A very good morning and a warm greeting to one and all present here. I'm Savita Shinu, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to our third series of Parents Campus Connect on the topic of future of artificial intelligence organized by the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science of Ishwari Engineering College. As we all know, education will reach its great privilege when it becomes a shared commitment between dedicated teachers, motivated students, and enthusiastic parents. I would like to send a warm greeting to our respected guest and father of Ms. Akshisha, our first year AIDS department, Dr. T. Ruben Devaprakash, sir, and our principal, Dr. R. S. Kumar, sir, and our head of department, Dr. Kanaka Subraja, sir, and our class coordinators, Ms. Revati, ma'am, and Dr. Virijaj, sir. I would like to invite our head of department, Dr. Kanaka Subraja, sir, to address this gathering. Uh, very good morning to everyone. I welcome uh, today's chief guest, Dr. T. Ruben Deva Prakas, Principal, Government College of Engineering, Munar, Kerala. Welcome, sir. Next, I welcome our beloved principal, sir, Dr. R. S. Kumar, who is a big source of inspiration for us. Welcome, sir. Next, I welcome our faculty members and students of our department. I take great pride in introducing a novel initiative by our department, the Parent Campus Connect series. So far, we have conducted two programs in this series, and now we are conducting this third one. The Parent Campus Connect series is a series of talks given by the parents of students studying in our department. So in our college, we are organizing a lot of events. We bring in eminent persons from industry to deliver talks for faculty as well as students. The parents are largely uninformed about the happenings. And this program is not like that. So many parents of our students in leading. So the, so the objective of this series is to learn from their expertise for the benefit of our students and faculty. We, we hope. This series will be beneficially and will help to build a good relationship with our parents. So today's talk is going to be delivered by parent of Ms. Aksha from first year AADS. I extend my warm welcome to Dr. Ruben sir, who has kindly accepted our invitation to deliver today's uh, session. And Dr. Ruben sir is the principal in Government Engineering College, Monar. I am sure his talk today will be inspirational for us, our students as well as our faculty members. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your wonderful words, sir. Now I would like to invite our principal, Dr. Aris Kumar, sir, to give us some words. Very, very good morning. And I take special pride in inviting another principal, Dr. Ruben. Thank you, sir, for being here. And uh, I'm sure you will bring in a wealth of uh, knowledge uh, for us also. We can work together. Very happy uh, that uh, we have got parents in uh, such a high level administration as well. Thank you, Professor, for being here. And I wish to congratulate HOD AI and DS, Dr. Kanaga Subaraja, for conceiving this kind of a great idea and implementing it also. This is third in the line. Uh, we are two from the industry, and now we are having one expert from the academic line. It's very nice. I'm sure the students are also liking it uh, very much. Uh, all best wishes to my student friends. Quickly, we are an autonomous institution and uh, we are also recognized by CIRO, by DSIR. Uh, we are have, we are FIST funded institution. We have got very good lab infrastructure. I'm sure we can work together, Professor. Once again, thank you and the best wishes to all of you. Jai Hind. Thank you for encouraging words, sir. Now, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. T. Ruben Deva Prakash. He is the principal at College of Mo Engineering, Monar. He's a graduate in electrical and electronic engineering and done PG in power system and got his PhD for research works in power quality. He had published 50 research papers in international journals and 17 papers in conference. 
He is interested in counseling students to improve academics and providing additional skill development courses to mould them as skilled technocrats and entrepreneurs. Guiding and motivating faculty to undertake research and consultancy work is his major contribution. He is currently pursuing his MCA in Artificial Intelligence to contribute in the ongoing trend research area. We are happy to have you with us today, sir. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Ruben Devaprakas, sir, to take over the session. The session is yours, sir. Thank you. Respected principal, head of department of AI and DS, dear faculty and students, very good morning to all of you. Indeed, I have immense pleasure to be with you during this wonderful morning to interact with the budding technocrats about the future of artificial intelligence. At the outset, I appreciate the efforts taken by dynamic head of AI and DS, Dr. Kanaga Subaraja, sir, who took fabulous initiative in organizing this interactive session with students through Parent Campus Connect. I am really proud to be a stakeholder of Ishwari College of Engineering, Chennai. This is an excellent campus which creates opportunities to students starting from its inception. So my dear students, opportunities never knock at your door more than once. So make use of all the opportunities provided by SRM group and come out with flying colors. And I'm very sure that each and every one of you will get butterflies in this campus during this golden four years period. But the trick is to make them fly in formation. You are definitely lucky to be in a campus which molds hundreds every year. I can say now, the ball is in your court. It is up to you to hit it or miss it. Whether you hit it or miss it is going to decide your destiny. Inspiration without any perspiration will end up in aspiration. And aspiration without inspiration is desperation. So I like to take this opportunity to inspire each and every one of you to create a future for AI. The artificial intelligence, the algorithms which you are studying during these four years are not the real artificial intelligent machines. Only you have to develop the real artificial intelligence machine during your generation. The future of AI is artificial general intelligence and artificial super intelligence, AGI and ASI. This artificial general intelligence aims at imitating human intelligence. And artificial super intelligence, ASI, aims in surpassing human intelligence. So, by the end of this presentation, you will be knowing what are the objectives or what are the goals for designing the upcoming artificial general intelligence. So with this brief uh, introduction, uh, let me move on to my presentation. So let me share my screen.
Is it visible? Ah, oh, yes, sir. So the contents which we will be covering in this session include what is actual intelligence, I mean natural intelligence. Can we develop machines with true intelligence? Whether the existing intelligent algorithms has the real intelligence. What is the present research in AI? So while discussing these topics, I want you to review your intelligence and build your future also. So let me begin my presentation with the slogan. The future of AI is really in your hands. And if you want to build a future for artificial intelligence, first, you should mold yourself like a creator. You should mold yourself like creator. Who is the creator? So what are natural things? Things that are created by God are natural things. So he is the creator. What are artificial things? Things that are created by man are artificial things. So who is the creator of artificial things? Be humans. Who are you? You are the real creators of artificial intelligence. You are going to be the real creators of artificial intelligence. So if you want to mold yourself to create artificial intelligence, what should you do? You have to observe natural intelligence. Gain knowledge about that. Develop deep understanding about the different phases of natural intelligence. Then you have to devise duplicating techniques and tools. And finally, you have to create a copy using skills. So to mold yourself like a creator, two things are important. One is knowledge about natural intelligence. Then skill for creating and copy. So knowledge and skill are the key. So what is the difference between knowledge and skill? Knowledge is understanding about something and knowing how to do. So using knowledge you can understand about a task and we can know how to do the task. But skill is ability to do it efficiently and the effectively. So if you have the ability to do a task efficiently and effectively, you are skilled. So what is the difference between efficient and effective? Efficiency means your effort should not go in vain. It should be reflected in the outcome. Effectively means fulfilling objective. Say, uh, when I am teaching, if all the students understands everything which I taught, 
then I am an efficient teacher. On the other hand, if I am not teaching the desired content, I become ineffective. I hope you got the difference. Do you know why many engineering graduates are not getting job now? Due to lack of skill. They are accruing knowledge in their field. They are scoring good marks, but they are not skilled enough. So while talking about skill, you should keep in mind three important components. The three important components of skill. One is doing the right thing. Second, you should do it in the right manner. That is in the right procedure. And finally, you should complete the task within the stipulated time period. So, skill is doing the right thing in right manner, managing time. The next question is, will you get this skill by birth? The answer is big no. You will acquire knowledge through studying. During these four years studies, you can acquire knowledge. You can acquire skill through learning. But talent you will get by birth. You won't get the skill by birth. So if you want knowledge, you have to study. If you want skill, you have to learn. So what is the difference between studying and learning? Studying is understanding and memorizing the facts through reading or listening. But Learning is practicing the knowledge to become skilled. God gives you talent by birth, but practice makes you skilled in the talented area. So, gaining knowledge is one side and developing skill in the talented area should be the other side. So along with studying, you should learn. And let me conclude. If you want to excel in the field of artificial intelligence, first, you should acquire knowledge about natural intelligence and duplicating techniques. Then you should apply them in your interested domain to create copy of intelligence. The current research in AI is artificial general intelligence. And the objective is to imitate exactly human intelligence. If you succeed in that, the machines which you are going to develop with human intelligence should have the capacity to mold itself as a creator. And it should build intelligent machines with intelligence surpassing human intelligence. That is referred in the literature as artificial super intelligence. So, your task is not just molding yourself like a creator, but you have to create artificial general intelligence machines which can mold themselves like creator for creating artificial super intelligence machines. So, first to create the future AI, you have to mold yourself like creator. Next, you should know yourself. Will you please read the name board on the screen? And tell me, what is the opposite of intelligence? Yes, it's stupidity. In my point of view, selecting the wrong field 
for acquiring knowledge and skill is stupidity. I repeat, selecting a wrong field for acquiring knowledge and skill is actually stupidity. If you select a field where you lack inborn talent, you won't excel in the field even if you work hard. So do you know the result of wrong choice? Now many of us are selecting the field based on fame or money. But if you make a wrong choice, if you put in your effort in a wrong area, what will be the result? The result of wrong choices, you may have crystallized intelligence, but you will lack fluid intelligence. There are two parts of intelligence, crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence. So if you put in your effort to gain knowledge and skill in the area where you are not talented, you will gain crystallized intelligence, but you won't have fluid intelligence. So what is crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence? Remember, I'm recalling the information gained is crystallized intelligence. So if you are said to have crystallized intelligence, you can remember and recall the concepts which you have studied. But Having the ability to solve problems by applying the gain knowledge is referred as fluid intelligence. Hope you might have got the difference between crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence. From our discussion, can you tell me how will you choose the right field to gain the knowledge and skill? For that, you should know yourself. So what are the keys of self-awareness? You should know your strength. You should identify your weakness. And you should know your talented area. And these three are called keys of self-awareness. So let's conclude. Selecting the right area to gain knowledge and skill is intelligence. So acquiring knowledge and skill in the right area is intelligence. This is the first and foremost thing needed for success in your life. Now I am coming to my point. You are supposed to develop artificial general intelligence machines and these machines should have the ability to learn and understand itself. It should have crystallized intelligence as well as fluid intelligence and such machines are highlighted in literature as self our AI machine that is under research now. And we can read many research papers under the topic self our AI machines. So, to create future AI, first you have to mold yourself as creator. Next, you should know yourself. Then, be transformed. Change is external. It can be influenced by external factors. But transformation is internal. Okay. What is the opposite of success? Obviously, failure. According to me, inability to apply the gained knowledge or solving problem is failure. Say, you have gained knowledge during these four years. 
want you have inability to apply the gain knowledge for solving problem then you are in failure can the current aa models capable of using the knowledge acquired during the training process automatically for doing task in other similar domain just analyze can the current aa models capable of using the acquired knowledge or the experience gathered for doing task in other similar areas if the answer is no they are really failures and they cannot be considered as the real aa models and how will you know whether you are in a successful journey using success indicators so what are those success indicators of peace of mind and joy if you have the peace of mind and joy both are internal states of mind we can make sure that you are traveling in the right path the self of our artificial intelligence machine which is under research should have the ability to access its own mental state to confirm its success journey and it should access its level of success as well okay the self of our machines should have the ability to access its own mental state whether it is having peace of mind and joy and it should confirm its success journey and it should also access the level of success how will you access your level of success in your life journey i can say truly it depends upon your ability to move from practical intelligence to analytical intelligence and then to creative intelligence through experience if you have the ability to move automatically from practical intelligence to analytical intelligence and then reaching creative intelligence then you have the real intelligence so what is practical intelligence practical intelligence is your ability to apply the acquired knowledge to solve day to day life issues using common sense so if you have the ability to apply the acquired knowledge to solve day to day life issues using common sense you are said to have practical intelligence what is analytical intelligence analytical intelligence is solving a problem in systematic way that is first you have to analyze the problem to know about its cause then solve the problem stage by stage using cognitive abilities like planning and abstracting it and at intermediate stages uh, you can have high evaluations and judgments to arrive at a precise solution so what is creative intelligence in case if you come up cross an unexpected problem if you can able to devise a novel solution for out of box thinking you have reached the level of creative intelligence so the problem is unexpected you don't know the solution to the problem at the instant if you can able to devise an a uh, new solution then you have reached the level of creative intelligence now analyze this does the present artificial intelligence machine are having the capacity to move through this level of intelligence automatically by gaining experience no but our goal is to develop 
artificial intelligence with this transformation capacity. So under artificial general intelligence, one of the goal is the machine should access its internal state to confirm whether it is moving in the success path or not. Then by gathering experience, it should transform itself automatically uh, from practical intelligence to analytical intelligence stage. And finally, it should reach creative intelligence stage. Now, uh, using this concept, self-transforming a machine or under research. This self-transforming AI machines is also part of artificial general intelligence, AGI. So to create future AI, I see first thing, we have to mold yourself as creator. Second thing, you should know yourself. Third, be transformed. And next is, reach the top level. Once you get transformed, next we have to reach the top level. Reaching top level is developing out of box thinking. Can a machine develop out of box thinking? So first you should know what is out of box thinking. Okay, uh, I'll give you an uh, example for out of box thinking. And how many of you know the father of theoretical computer and artificial intelligence? It's Alan Turing. And why he is considered as one of the fathers of artificial intelligence? Actually, this Alan Turing is a mathematician uh, who got PhD at the age of 26. I got PhD only at the age of uh, uh, 33, but Alan Turing got PhD at the age of 26. He worked with Britain during the Second World War. Actually, actually his work is to break the secret codes sent by enemy countries to their army chiefs. And he has to reveal uh, their strategies of war. And for this, he developed a code breaking machine called Delila. And this code breaking machine, Delila, failed to break certain codes, which Turing did it manually using his own intelligence. So at this venture, he started thinking, the machine thinks like me because Turing could able to break the codes using his intelligence very easily, but his machine daily now fails. That is the reason he started thinking, can a machine think like me? Then he designed automatic computing engine, which is one of the first store program computer. And his persistent thinking, can a machine think like human? leads to Turing machine. And he devised a test called Turing test to check the intelligence of a machine. You know, this uh, test is actually very interesting. So in this test, the intelligent machine will also appear along with who humans before a blindfold judge. This judge will ask questions. The machine will also answer along with other humans. If the judge cannot able to distinguish between humans and machines, then the machine passed during this. The machine is said to have intelligence. But during his days, none of the computers passed his test. But during foretold that after the year 2000, Efficient computers will be introduced, which will pass his test. And in 1950, he published a research paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence. 
which forms the basis of present day artificial intelligence. So that is the reason he is considered as one of the father of artificial intelligence. So when there is no possibilities and amidst of initial failure of Delhi Lab, he started searching animation thing. This is really out of box thinking. So what is our present challenge? So we have to design and develop artificial general intelligence machine with out of box thinking. Can you do it? Yes. Because Google's DeepMind AI, AlphaGo, demonstrated out of box thinking while playing the high profile Go game and won the human champion while playing on a full size 19 by 19 board. So your task is to design a machine which progress from practical intelligence to creative intelligence through analytical intelligence automatically and it should exhibit out of box thinking. So if you start working now, you can achieve this within this four years period. So to create future for AI, first you have to mold yourself as creator. Second, you should know yourself. Third, be transformed. Reach the top level. And next is imitate the creator. Who is the creator? God is the creator. Listen very carefully. God has created humans with uniqueness for fulfilling a definite purpose. So each and every humans are different. They are unique. Each and every person are designed with different talents by birth. And he is intended to perform different functions or different tasks in this world. In fact, our researchers has identified eight intelligence. All the humans are said to have eight intelligence. But the level of these intelligences vary from person to person. Depending on that, the persons will have different talents. A person can be successful in life if he analyzes the level of this intelligence gifted by God and choose his career or identify his purpose. And let us see the intelligences now. The first intelligence is linguistic intelligence. This aids to learn and play with different languages. You might have seen some persons will have the ability uh, to learn different languages and they will play with the languages. Generally lawyers, auditors, anchors and journalist uh, professions require high level of this intelligence. So if the person having high level of uh, linguistic intelligence enter the field uh, as a lawyer or orator or anchor or journalist, they will shine in that field. So in artificial intelligence, IBM Watson designed a machine with linguistic intelligence. This IBM Watson is a question answering computer system. And it is capable of answering questions posed in natural language. And it actually beat the best human champions in the quiz show, Geo Parody. And let's move on to the next intelligence, which is logical intelligence. Logical intelligence aids to mathematical problem solving. Generally, accountants, statisticians, engineers, computer analyst professionals require 
high level of this logical intelligence. And IBM Deep Blue designed with logical intelligence. That is the reason it won over the world champion Gary Kasparov at chess. And next is spatial intelligence. This aids in imagination and visualization in 3D. Graphic artists, interior decorators, and fashion designers require high level of this intelligence. Google's Deep Dream system is designed with spatial intelligence. That is the reason it can able to create art by itself. It can create different art patterns by itself. And the next intelligence is bodily kinesthetic intelligence. This aids to flexibly control body or body parts. Generally, athletes, dancers, mechanics, and gymnastic professionals require high level of this intelligence. Boost and Dynamics Atlas Robo is designed with this bodily kinesthetic intelligence. That is the reason the Atlas Robo can swim like an octopus, it can glide like a snake, or fly like an insect, it can walk like a dog, it can run like a human, and now it can even do precision surgery. And next comes the musical intelligence. This aids to compose and understand musical patterns. Singers, composers, and DJ musicians record high level of this intelligence. AIVA, what is that? Artificial Intelligence Visual Artist. It's a system designed with musical intelligence. And this composes music for many films. Recently, AIBA released its first album, Genesis. And this AI has acquired worldwide status of composer now. Okay, next is interpersonal intelligence. This aids in understanding the intentions, motivations, and desires of others, knowing about others, Knowing about the intentions of others, motivations of others, desires of others. This is a record for certain professions like teaching, right? Salesperson, PRO, declaration officer, and administrators. They require high level of interpersonal intelligence. So the AA machine under research with high level of this intelligence is referred as mind theory machines in literature. Mind theory machines are now under research. And these machines are being developed with high level of interpersonal intelligence. And next is intrapersonal intelligence. And this aids to understand themselves and responsible for self-awareness. Therapist, counselors, Entrepreneurs and clergy professionals require high level of this intelligence. Only persons with high level of this intelligence should go to the professions like therapists, counselors, entrepreneurs, or clergy professionals. So the AI self our machines should have high level of this intelligence. And last one is naturalistic intelligence. This aids to understand nature metrology, astronomy, and geology professionals require abundance of this intelligence. And so far, none of the uh, AI models are developed with naturalistic intelligence. Okay. How will you identify the levels of this intelligence in yourself? So if you want to identify uh, your purpose in life, you have to find the levels of this intelligence in your life. Will you identify? Actually, the purpose of school education is to give activities and learning opportunities to students. 
for making them aware of their talented area. So this is very important. The purpose of school education is to give activities and learning opportunities to students for making them aware of their talented area. Now you are in higher education sector. And in higher education sector, you have to increase the skills in the talented area. So you have to identify the talented area based on the levels of intelligence you have. And increase the skill in the talented area in higher education during these four years. Okay, let's come to our point. While duplicating human intelligence, we should go behind the pattern followed by God. That is the reason I have given the title Imitate Creator. Because God has created humans with all the eight intelligence, but with different levels depending upon the task he has to perform. So while designing artificial general intelligence machine, we should design machine with all these eight intelligence, not with single intelligence. With all these eight intelligence, but with different levels depending upon the function which is to be performed. Now, Gardner's multiple intelligence machine is under research. And this machine, multiple intelligence machine, aims to have all these eight intelligence but at different levels. Okay, what are the things we have covered to create? Future AI, first mold yourself as creator. You should know yourself. Be transformed. Reach the top level. After reaching top level, you have to imitate the creator. Then develop successful intelligence. So what is successful intelligence? Thinking based on purpose. Making decisions based on facts instead of emotions and feelings. I mean rational thinking and rational decision making. In practicing and doing things to fulfill the purpose of life. Finally, tackling the environment to mitigate its influences against our purpose. Now please analyze yourself. To my observation, most of the humans have diverged thinking. They often make decisions based on emotions and feelings and not based on facts. They try to become like others. Most of the humans are influenced by society. So rather than working in their talented area, they try to engage themselves in profession which fetches more money and fame in the society. The reason is there are different salary scales for different professions that impact human nature. So everyone try to uh, involved in a profession which gives more money and fame. So you are not working in the uh, talented area. Hence, the machines with successful intelligence will surely surpass human intelligence. So if you design machine with these qualities, that is thinking based on purpose, making decision based on facts, practicing and doing things to fulfill purpose alone, tackling the environment to mitigate influence of Sagan's purpose, the machine will have super intelligence. And the resulting machine will be AS, ASI machine. And finally, become the ruler of this world. Can you name few inventions 
which change the entire world? You should tell me. Name few inventions that change the whole world. Can you name few? I'll tell one. The invention of IC engine, before which transportation was different, right? I can add my field, electrical field, invention of electricity, change the lifestyle of entire world. Then digital communication technology leads to new technological era. Now my question is, any name and invention that is going to change the entire world including uh, your education sector, our education sector. It's none other than visual intelligence. Russian president, Mr. Putin told, one who leads in artificial intelligence will be the ruler of the world. One who leads in artificial intelligence will be the ruler of the world. So if you want to become the ruler of the world, then you should lead in artificial intelligence. You should create artificial general intelligence. Now, AI is applied everywhere, starting from automatic car, robo-pilot, drone delivery, rocket engine, and now to flying cars. But the AI which you are studying is ANI, Artificial Narrow Intelligence. And under narrow, uh, sorry, under uh, ANI, Artificial Narrow Intelligence, models are designed to perform specific tasks. And the experience and knowledge which are gained cannot be used for doing similar tasks in another domain. It performs the trained job without any understanding. But the future AI is Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, and Artificial Super Intelligence, ASI. AGI aims in imitating exactly human intelligence, where AS I aims in surpassing human intelligence. Those machines will be much smarter than human beings. And this artificial narrow intelligence categorized as reactive machines and limited memory machines. These reactive machines do not store past experience or past memories. Even IBM's Deep Blue play chess only based on pre learned strategies. In limited memory machines, uh, they can store new information for short duration. For example, self driving car. The self driving car has to store approaching distance and speed of nearby vehicles for short span, along with any absurd hurdles in its path. And next we will see the evolution of AI. Then only you can understand uh, your task where you have to bring this AI to create a future for this AI. Our brain has network of neurons. You all know that. You have studied in biology. And the first step in the development of AI is duplication of these neurons. So evolution of artificial neurons started in the year 1943 and Alan Turing's machine in the year 1950. The first conference organized to develop AI is Dartmouth Conference in the year 1956. First chatbot was created by Joseph in the year 1966 which actually simulated on psychotherapist. 
the Japanese developed the first humanoid robot, Viber One, in 1972. And the interesting thing is, after all these contributions, there is a belief that A is an illusion. So A research became stagnant till the introduction of IBM's Deep Blue, which is the first computer to beat world chess champion Kasparov, followed by introduction of Roomba vacuum cleaner in 2002. IBM Watson won the quiz show in 2011. That leads to boom in AI and AI research. And now, AI is introduced everywhere. So the real AI is the upcoming artificial general intelligence. Okay, the real AI is not uh, the one which you are studying that is only narrow intelligence, the upcoming artificial general intelligence, AGI is the real AI. And who has to develop that AGI? You student community who is working in AI is responsible for developing that AGI. So what are the goals? Can you recollect? What are the major goals for developing artificial general intelligence? So you are supposed to um, develop the artificial general intelligence. So what are the goals? First itself, I told the outcome of this discussion will be we should be able to list out the goals of artificial general intelligence. So recollect what is the first thing? First you have to mold yourself like creator. So what is the objective? So the design artificial intelligence machine should study and learn by itself to gain knowledge and skill. And it should have the capacity to mold itself like creator to generate or to create artificial super intelligence. Okay, so you are not going to create artificial super intelligent machines. You are going to create artificial general intelligence machine with capacity to mold themselves like creator and it will create machines having intelligence more than humans. So first objective is designing machine which can study and learn by itself to gain knowledge and skill to mold themselves like creator or creating artificial super intelligence. Second, know yourself, right? So the machine should have the capacity to analyze its mental state, to understand about itself, to know its strength, weakness, and its talented area. And it should have the capacity to develop both crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence, right? Crystallized intelligence is just remembering and recalling the gained knowledge. Fluid intelligence is knowing to apply that knowledge to solve problems. And what next? Be transformed. So the machine should have the capacity to transform from practical to analytical, and then to creative intelligence. Automatic transformation capacity should be there in uh, AGI algorithms. And what next? Reaching top level. That means out of box thinking. Your design machine should have out of box thinking. 
and then the machine should imitate the creator. That means the machine should have all the eight intelligence at different levels depending upon the purpose for which it is designed. Then develop successful intelligence. That is thinking based on purpose, decision based on facts, just practice to fulfill purpose. Okay. And finally, your machine should become the ruler by, of the world by generating artificial super intelligence. So I have consolidated the goals. You can just go through the goals. Ability to form mental images, ability to detect and responsible to hazards, ability to think and have a mind and consciousness, ability to see, hear and communicate in natural language, ability to learn an intellectual task like a human being, building emotions and feelings, building general mental capacity, involving reasoning, problem solving, planning, abstract thinking, complex idea comprehension, learning from experience. These are all the major goals while building artificial general intelligence. So this artificial general intelligence machine is under research and many works are published under two areas. One is mind theory machine and self-aware machines. The mind theory machines have the ability to understand its mental state or the mental state of others, including the desires, beliefs and intentions of others. The machine should have interpersonal intelligence. But self-aware machines should be aware of its own personality, individuality, and it should learn by itself and understand what it is and how it should function. That means it should have intrapersonal intelligence. And the other machines which we discussed are in the initial stages of research. That means uh, self-transforming AI machines, uh, then gardeners, multiple intelligence AI machines are all uh, in the initial stages of research. But you can able to read papers under the topic mind theory machines and self-aware AI machines. So let's conclude this session by discussing the challenges and risk in artificial general intelligence. First challenge is humans are spiritual beings. Do you agree? Humans are spiritual beings. They are composed of soul and spirit. The soul and spirit are originated from God. And the soul and spirit lives inside body to perform desired purpose. Soul is condensed form of spirit. Soul and spirit are just like ice and water. The heart of the soul is mind. Brain of the soul is consciousness. The soul can communicate with the other spirit through its own spirit. So spiritually intellectual person can have constant communication with the spirit of God to fulfill their purpose. And actually they are attaining this state through continuous meditation and praising of God and they are said to be spiritually alive. But actually there is another spirit which acts against the wish of God. We call it as evil spirit or negative energy. This evil spirit also can communicate with the human spirit to make them act against the purpose. If this is fact, now tell me, can you duplicate humans as a whole? Can you develop machines with all these capabilities? That is some challenge. Building emotions and feelings like human, 
post challenge and risk next even if you build agi models with capacity same as humans i agree somehow you have built an agi machine with capacity same as humans my question is what will be their motivation to work it is having its own intelligence like human so what will be its motivation to work normally we human beings work to make money and to live comfortably most of us will agree okay uh, even i am working to make money and or uh, to live comfortably in this world spiritual persons will say i am working to fulfill my purpose of life so that my soul can attain eternal life after physical death physical death is detachment of soul from body so only if you fulfill the purpose of life you can attain eternal life that is unbelief but if the machines have intelligence same as humans what will be their motivation will it have a uh, money motive or will it will it have a uh, motive to attain eternal life even humans become greedy for money and make it through evil ways what happens if the machine which you create starts thinking that way what will happen there is chance for robo war among themselves say you are building artificial general intelligence machine which is having the capacity to mold itself like creator we are giving the capacity to machines to build other intelligent machines they will build machines with the capacity more than humans that is our expectation our agi machine should build machines smarter than humans that we call it as artificial super intelligence machine so if artificial super intelligence machines are created those machines may treat us like ants in your houses how you will treat ants likewise the super intelligence machine may treat humans like ants okay so my dear students you are really in a challenging field and your role is critical for the future of ai only you have to develop the future of ai the future of ai is really in your hands i will say one thing listen very carefully this is very important your future will be a question mark if you just concentrate in your studies or scoring marks i repeat your future will be a question mark if you concentrate and just study only the present artificial narrow intelligence with the only intention to score marks why i am telling this is within the next few years all the practicing software engineers will learn artificial narrow intelligence algorithms joining certification programs or diploma courses and they are going to dominate the joy, uh, job market you are all freshers think about that even at this age uh, i am an electrical person but in smart grid application is ai so i joined pg to gain knowledge in the area of artificial intelligence i am learning uh, artificial narrow intelligence algorithms now and applying to electrical field so within the next few years i am very sure that all the software engineers will learn ai algorithms and they are going to dominate the market so what is the solution so start now and do research 
and contribute for the upcoming artificial general intelligence. So now you know uh, what are the goals for artificial general intelligence. Okay, you know what is intelligence. You have to mold yourself as creators. Gather more knowledge about intelligence. Devise your own tools and duplicating techniques to create copy of this human intelligence. Only if you do so, you can sustain in this field. I will add one more thing. AI can be applied for doing automated tasks in all domains. But this AI cannot act independently. If you want to apply AI to a domain, domain knowledge is essential. Say, I want to apply artificial intelligence to my electrical field. So I should have knowledge about artificial intelligence as well as knowledge about my domain, my electrical field. So select a domain now itself. Domain knowledge is very important. So select a domain which suits you based on your interest, your intelligence levels, and based on your purpose of life, select a domain immediately. Start attaining the domain knowledge in parallel to your AI studies, at least from the next semester. Okay. Uh, you can join NPTEL courses to gain domain knowledge. So I encourage you to uh, take up NPTEL courses, not in the area of artificial intelligence, in another area where you are going to apply this artificial intelligence or else through certification programs. Okay. So let's hope for the best. So once again, I wish you all the best for creating a bright future for yourself and for artificial intelligence. So once again, I thank uh, principal and HOD uh, for creating opportunities uh, to students of Ishari College of Engineering to interact with parents so that uh, they can get motivated to develop the future of AI. And last but not the least, I want to thank the author and creator of this presentation. And it is none other than your friend, Aramaksha. And I was busy with my schedules. And if I, if I was asked to uh, present something in the electrical area, I can do it. But I am a student in AI. So it's Aksha who traveled from Chennai to Buna and uh, almost worked for three days to prepare this presentation. So thank you, Aksha. Thank you, all of you. Wish you all the best. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for your wonderful speech. and. Uh, uh, today you thought all the concept very easy manner and definitely our student go through all the points and our students so good uh, develop good a model and uh, serve to society sir sure sir thank you sir okay and uh, and uh, you are not a parent you are a technical person your advice for students as well as our side also very useful, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for this enlightening, wonderful session, sir. And also for motivating and guiding perfectly towards our goals. I would wish to express our gratitude for accepting our invitation and providing encouragement and clear ideas to set up our future ahead. Now the session is open for doubts. Participants can ask your doubts.
Uh, I hope from... everything is clear for everyone. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I hope everything is clear for everyone, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, participants, please make sure to fill the feed feedback form that will be sent to your WhatsApp group. I would like to end the session with a vote of thanks. We are really happy to have Dr. Rupan Devaprakash sir today with us. Thank you so much for taking time out of your tight schedule and spending with us, sir. And also thank you, Aksha, for your contribution. And thank you for let, uh, enlightening us in the upcoming trend of artificial intelligence, sir. I would also like to thank our participants for making use of this wonderful session. Thank you so much, all. Have a great day. Thank you, sir.